Okay, so in this video, I want to introduce you to conditional probability. So what that means is that we'll look at the probability of something happening where we have an extra condition where we know something has happened already. So we're going to go through this example to really introduce the concept. A student is picked at random. Find the probability of the student studying English to start off with. So that's a nice basic question. So it's anyone in this circle. So there are certainly 12 students out of, well, how many have we got in total? Well, we've got uh, 22, 30, 40 students. So it'd be 12 out of 40. And of course, that can be simplified down. So 12 out of 40 is 3 tenths. Now, if we're looking at studying English, given that they study maths, then we have this extra bit of information. We know already that they study maths. OK, so that's what is said by that statement there, given that they study maths. So we already know they are one of those 22 students that are studying maths. OK, we're not considering anybody else. So out of those 22 students, what's the probability of choosing someone who studies English? So we have four students in English out of the 22. OK, so what this does is it reduces what you are looking at on the Venn diagram. So. Um, what you want to consider is, if it says, given that they study maths, you can cover up anything that isn't maths. And then you're being asked, well, what's the probability of choosing English? Well, it's 4 out of 22. OK? So if we're asked to, for just studying maths, then, well, there's 22 students that study maths out of the 40. Okay, so that would be 11 out of 20. So if we're then asked studying maths given that they study English, we know they study English, so we can cover up anything that's not English. And then I'm asked, well, what's the probability of choosing someone who studies maths? Well, there's four uh, math students out of the 12 who study English. So it's four out of 12. So one third. Now finally, we're going to try this one. What's the probability of choosing a student that studies English given that they do not study maths? So we're told that they don't study maths. And so we can cover up all the students that do study maths because we're just we know that they don't. So now what's the probability of choosing someone who studies English? Well, there are eight English students out of the 18. So it's just eight out of 18, which is four ninths. OK, so that is how we can lead in with this conditional probability. That's how we can do it with a worded problem. We'll have a look at how we write these down and develop it a little bit more in the next video.